Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I present the Barson Thor of the Jedi Order and Defender of the Rift Alliance. In my predecessor's place, I have invoked the Protocol of Special Requital, which ensures the Rift Alliance will be properly rewarded. Several billion credits for rebuilding, privileged access to new hyperspace routes, extra support for your armies, these are only the beginning. Which should also ensure the Rift Alliance worlds never think of seceding again. You're a quick study. The resources of the core worlds are stretched, but we will try to grant any additional requests you have. What would serve you and your warriors best? You wish to begin a colony? Of course, I'm sure there are plenty of worlds that would welcome you. Hey, hey, hey. What about the Voss Commandos and Gaten Co? Commandos will be honored. I hope for learning. New Jedi come to Voss. Mystics can teach. Masters, I know you had concerns about the Voss. The Voss are more gray than we would like. We will consider this carefully. One Force. Jedi know dark and light. Mystics know gray. The pivot between. We can show. The Rift Alliance no longer requires day-to-day -day oversight, but they'll need a spokesperson in the Senate. Someone invested with your authority. Why, Supreme Chancellor, it'll be an honor. We are no one now, I am not going to show. Nim Kelly's met, Ron Fura Toka. Representative Alani would be perfect for this position. Besides, she's already accepted. I'll be certain the Republic knows the debt it owes. This is a small part of the greater victory you engineered, yet you've asked nothing for yourself. Your devotion to the Light and your diplomatic talents make you perfect to fill the empty seat on the Jedi Council. I will do my best to serve the Order in this role, Master Satil. But this is only a small reward beside the great service you have done for all of us. Complacency is a luxury we can never afford again. A threat can come from within as well as without. Wasn't planning on dropping my guard yet. We cannot forget those who paid the ultimate price for us. We carry the burden of living up to their sacrifice. I owe it to Father. Words can only do so much. Our actions, from now on, must speak for us. Thank you all. Yes, May the Force be with you. Always.